You know, when we talk about mindset, really to boil it down for trading, the main mindset that I have is preparation. Mm -hmm. So everything that I do is to prepare for uh, every eventuality. So it's all about, you know, planning. And when you first start doing this, of course, you know, you, you don't, you don't have uh, maybe your, you know, your strategy down, you don't have the expertise. So you, you study, you read books, you maybe you go to workshops, um, you make a plan, and then you trade. And then from there, after you, you have, you evaluate, and you see what happened, what went wrong, what went right, and then you study some more, replan and do it all over again. So that's sort of the cycle. But the main mm -hmm. thing is that that mindset has to be where you you really have to make sure that you're constantly preparing and 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 studying what happened, what went wrong, what went good, and doing that post analysis. And this is something that very few people do, uh, mm -hmm. or do for any length of time, even those that do do it, they may do it for a little while, but it's not something that they, they have in their routine <clears throat> for a, you know, a long through, through their trading career. I mean, I've been doing this for 30 going this year will be my 38th year trading and I'm still evaluating and doing post analysis and, and uh, keeping in touch with my numbers and making sure that I know the truth about my trading at all times. So that, you know, again, we can get very deep into mindset, yeah. uh, but the main thing is, is to always, you know, be yeah, preparing. And to dive into that a little bit, I want to talk about both your weekend and daily routine. So starting with the weekend routine, what do you do to analyze the market, your current stocks, the market leadership, the breadth of the market to make sure you're prepared for the, the next week and also identify the, those best opportunities for your, for your <clears throat> particular style? Yeah, believe it or not, I do very little work on the general market. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I, yeah, I don't really do a whole lot of general market analysis. I mean, I look at the price and volume of the market. I look at the major indexes. Um, I do have some, you know, readings or indicators that I follow some sentiment, but I'm really doing the majority of my work is 90% of it is all stock work. So right. if there's a lot of stocks then I'm bullish on the market, if there's not a lot of stocks, I'm bearish on the market, or I'm at least careful. Um, I, you know, I can't buy anything if I don't have the stocks, if the stocks aren't set up. And if the stocks aren't working, you know, if there are a lot of stock setups and they're not working, then I really know, you know, the market's uh, not a great market. So my, my routine is really just screening for stocks, mm -hmm. trying to find out, you know, as much as I can about those stocks. And most of them I already know, you know, like there's only so many names. So as I'm screening, you know, if Netflix, Google, you know, Goldman Sachs, for instance, uh, um, you know, broke out today. I know, I know these companies well already. Now there might be some smaller company that I never heard of. So then I try to get up to speed on that and uh, take a look at the fundamentals. Uh, and, and from there, I'm just creating a list. I, I, I basically, I create three lists. I have my buy alert list. I have my high on deck and I have my watch list. So basically watch are stocks that, you know, are, 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 the candidates, but they're not very close. High on right. deck, they're very close. And buy alert are in position to be bought. Then uh, when that next trading day comes, I've already made the decision as which stocks are ready to be bought. And I've already decided what you know, price I'm buying. And, uh, and I've already decided my stop loss and all that's figured out ahead of time. So then when the trading day comes, you know, I, I'm, I just put in my alerts. And when those alerts go off, I start you know, buying stocks and selling stocks. And now moving on to kind of your daily routine, you've got your three lists set up for the week. Um, how many stocks on average would you say are on that buy alert list? Because I found personally, it's a lot easier to execute well on a very small select number than try to manage 15, 20 names mm -hmm. even in, in that yeah. morning when, when the, the bell rings. Well, that, that happens to be, I think, one of the mistakes that some, you know, some newbies make is where they have, they just want to have everything on the list and they just right there they don't narrow it down and that's just because they don't really have their selection criteria really fine-tuned and they're not looking for the you know the very best of setups so yeah. i'm really looking for those aces and kings and queens you know i'm looking for the top the premium hands just like with poker you know you want to play premium hands i want to play premium hands in the market so i'm looking for the best technical setups um, but to answer your question you know there could be 40, 50, or 60 names in a really great environment, or there could be no names or just a couple. So it's it's all based on, and, and it's a function of 
the market environment and whether, you know, how healthy the market is at any given point. Um, but generally, it'll be anywhere between just a small handful and as much as 40 or 50 names. Gotcha. And um, walk me through kind of uh, from the moment you wake up your daily routine to, to prepare yourself for that open, because I know you do a lot of visualization and, and breathing exercises to help you mm -hmm. kind of stay focused and, and get you ready to execute um, at the highest ability that you're capable of. Yeah, I don't do it every day, but there are a lot of days I, I will I will go down to the beach and I'll meditate on the beach if I have the time and if I got a good night's sleep and I wake up early enough. Um, and I, I like to to do something like that first to sort of be in a, like a nice calm uh, state and a natural in a natural mm -hmm. environment. So that's really great to do to get yourself uh, uh, in you know balanced, if you will. But I always I do I do visualization every single day and morning and night. I, I pretty much it's just become an automatic habit that I do. Um, and I also do breathing exercises, which my wife that was doing a lot of, you know, I don't not Wim Hof, but a lot of really sophisticated uh, breathing techniques. She had some friends that she would they would regularly do it uh, mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And, and I started learning from them uh, some more sophisticated techniques. But I use a very basic box breathing technique that Navy SEALs use when they're under pressure. Um, and so I do that in the morning, I do my breathing, it's only it's only five minutes of breathing. And then I do a, I do a mental rehearsal, you know, especially mm -hmm. I'll, I'll flip on the TV real quick and just check and see if the Dow's down, you know, 800 points, uh, or if it's, you know, if it's, if it's up big. Um, and then from there, that'll sort of like, let me know what I need to prepare for, you know, if all of a sudden, there's a, you know, the market's down huge, I know that I'm going to be going into uh, gaps down and probably some stops being hit. So I start to think, you know, to play through my mind, how I'm going to handle that. Um, and, and just the opposite if things are, you know, moving up, um, and, and the market's up huge, I might have some gaps that, uh, you have, uh, you know, the, the last few days have been uh, a good example. And even today where some stocks or yesterday was a good example where some stocks that were on my list actually gapped out, there were small gaps, but I don't chase gaps. So mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I want to make sure that I'm disciplined. And if the stock doesn't meet my criteria, if it gets away from my buy point, I'm going to leave it alone. So I start going through that and, and visualizing, you know, what could happen. And, right. uh, and I already know the names on my list. You know, I already know what I'm interested in. Um, so as those stocks are, are, are moving, you know, I'm prepared. I mean, again, it's all about preparation. So this is another part of the preparation that um, not only am I doing all the work, but I'm also doing the mental preparation to then intersect with that work.